on the road to take on the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, a nine and a half point favorite, total of 46 at DraftKings. This will be played in Baltimore, 430 Eastern on Saturday, Matt. First thought on this line, Ravens laying nine and a half. And I think important to note, nine and a half. So really not a teaser opportunity out there. Yeah, this is definitely opened higher than I thought it was going to be. I thought eight and a half would be about the the number we would be looking at. If you look what Houston does very, very well, they're one of the best run-stopping defenses in all of the NFL. They were, over the course of the season, number one run defense success rate allowed. And if you don't know what success rate is, you're trying to get 40% of the requisite yards on first down, 60% on second down, and then either get the whole thing on third and fourth down. And so... You're all they were always anytime a team ran the ball against them, like they were actually putting themselves in a worse situation than they would have been otherwise because the team is just very, very good at keeping you from getting chunk plays with the, with the rush. And so now we look at a team in the Ravens, and I understand this is still a very, very good football team throwing the ball, but they they like to run the ball, and then certainly whenever they're humming, they're running the ball effectively. And I do wonder what this team might look like if they get forced into a situation where Lamar does have to throw every single down. I I do wonder what that version of this offense looks like. And if Houston can come in and Houston can do what they did to the Browns last week, which Browns don't have, don't have much of a run game to speak of anyway, but then force them into throwing the ball every single time. And with that, even though the secondary for this Texans team has been, has been vulnerable at times this season, when you know what the other team's doing every single time, it's much easier to play against them. And I do wonder if we get a a, a situation where Ravens kind of have difficulty running the ball. And if they have difficulty running the ball and Lamar has to throw every single time and he's forced into an, a, a 36, 38, 40 attempt game, what does that, what does that game state? What does that game plan look like for the Ravens? And how does that go about covering, you know, at this point, double digits at, at, at some point. And so if this were to reach 10, I would be pretty tempted on the Texans. I think the Texans offense is good enough to put up some points. Like I think that this, this offense is pretty much shown CJ Stroud this past week, pretty much put the, uh, put it in my mind that he's, he can step up and play against any defense in the league. And so I'm, I would be tempted at double digits for sure. So these teams played week one in Baltimore the Ravens closed in week one as a nine and a half point favorite, a total of 43 and a half. Ravens won that game 25 to nine. It was seven to six at the half. Baltimore had the lead. Houston actually outgained Baltimore way back in week one. Very close, but outgained them 268 to 265. Both had 18 touch, uh, first downs in that game. And the turning point of that game was Houston down 15 to six, Matt went for it at their own 42-yard line, did not get it. Short field for Baltimore. They punched it in 22-6, to and that was pretty much all she wrote. But interesting to note, week one, Ravens minus 9.5. Divisional round, Ravens minus 9.5. Yeah, you take a look, too. One of the things that could come into play, and we'll see if Baltimore changes the way that they play defense over the course of the season, but... They have they they did not blitz very much over the course of the season, and so at the 25th highest rate, and with that, it only equaled the 21st highest pressure rate as well from their defense. And so they don't get a ton of pressure on the quarterback as it is, and they don't blitz a lot. So it does make me wonder: Are they going to continue with the same defensive philosophy that they had? Because we've seen C.J. Stroud, man, like you give C.J. Stroud a clean pocket, dude is been amazing this year like he has been awesome and so does Baltimore try to blitz more do they try to figure out how to generate more pressure because the front their their defensive front four was not able to do it and then and they weren't able to do it from a blitzing standpoint either and so I do wonder if there's going to be a fundamental kind of shift there from them to try to get CJ Stroud off his spot try to get some people in his face because man you 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 saw what happened with the Browns the Browns were not able to get any pressure this past week and he was just lethal out there. And I think that I think that they would be able to do this. I really do. Go to VEASAN.com slash subscribe to become a VEASAN Pro subscriber today.